Good people, let's talk about some of the best headsets that are available right now with some excellent options released this year and I'll break this down into categories as usual so if you are after the best wireless pair, the best value pair, the best microphone quality or the best sound quality or the most surprising headset of all, we've got you covered plus the W2F category is strong this year. So I'm gonna start with the most surprising pairs and that easily goes to the Razer Kraken V3 Pro Hypersense and the Linsole KZ ZS10 earbuds. Not technically a headset, but it has a built-in microphone. So there we go. So the V3 Pro, it's the only Kraken headset I can recommend because it's so much more comfortable than anything else in a Kraken lineup. It actually sounds awesome and Hypersense. Man, it is insanely fun. Basically vibrating drivers in each ear cup to really amplify your audio experience. You can cycle between three haptic modes. I prefer medium for games, which activates vibrations for only certain low end frequencies like in Shiverly 2, when the arrows pass by your head, you feel that air movement that is properly reflected with stereo imaging, or when in the high preset, even running on wood activates vibrations, so you feel the heaviness of your character. The opening sequence in Halo was a really good example of again feeling all that metal impact as the chief flies through the debris and it's smart enough not to overpower the main drivers so you still hear everything and also kind of feel connected to the sound as well. Now microphone quality here is pretty decent, it's loud and clear, the cable is non-removable and the RGB lighting is actually tastefully done here so well done, Razer. While the ZS10 earbuds, just a really unique way to game without messing up your hair, and the over-ear cable means they disappear weight-wise, they almost have no cable noise either, they sound really warm and inviting if you want something kind of chill with good low end as well. The built-in microphone on here is nothing special, it's at least something if you need comps and don't have an external solution. The cable is removable too, and they look pretty sweet with that transparent blue housing and the internal red PCB. Ooh, a 30 millimeter frame, so it's a little thicker, ideal for multiple locations, but is the performance mind blowing? Exactly. Introducing the new T30 fans from Fantex, the ultimate fan for radiators, heat sinks, and cases where you need powerful airflow with an excellent sound profile. The 3 RPM mode switch is a clever integration, you gotta appreciate the daisy chain potential, and of course, a good looking fan will keep the system clean. Check out the T30 fan down below. For the best wireless category, these are pretty simple. The Corsair HS80 wireless, the Cloud2 wireless, and the Logitech G Pro X wireless, all charged with USB-C by the way. So the Corsair HS80, because they are pretty comfortable and one of the very few pairs that isn't fully closed because of these soft fabric ear pads, wireless performance and signal are outstanding as well in terms of sound quality. The microphone here is best in the wireless category. Battery life is rated at 20 hours, so not outstanding. And on my unit, I get less. I get about like a full day before I need to recharge. So I must've gotten the lemon there. That means, you know, just one day of gaming, come on. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless is my go-to for comfort and wireless convenience because of the 30 plus hours of battery life. The really soft leather at ear cushions uh, create an awesome seal and good detail in audio. Unfortunately, the microphone sucks. As you can hear, there's absolutely no comparison to the Corsair HS80, so. What you gotta do? The G Pro X wireless also gets mentioned here because it sounds really powerful with smooth detail on the high end and also excellent stereo imaging. They're very comfortable and even suitable for large VR headsets. But blue voice here is just disappointing as the microphone sucks and surround mode is just not as good as it used to be. And they're also ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching expensive. So let us remove two of those kachinks and talk about the best value headsets, shall we? The Black Shark V2X by Razer. My gosh, what an easy recommendation. They are built well, they are light and comfortable design, great microphone. Uh, unfortunately, the cable is non-removable, but for this price category at 59 bucks, you sound you're gonna sound really good on the battlefield, okay? They don't sound like trash, like Razer's headsets before them. And if you are concerned about how they stack up in the longer term, considering this is a very budget-focused headset, check out my six months update here. And overall, they're pretty decent. The Fanatic React is also in the same price bracket that are tough, easy to drive, and very treble focused. So if you need something for just competitive gaming, this is a very crunchy headset and that's gonna be for you. It's exactly what you'd expect from an esports brand and microphone quality here is totally passable for around 60 bucks. 
Well done, Fnatic. The colorful and fun G335 is here too from Logitech because it's just such a well done departure from the traditional boring designs that still fits into the budget category. It's plenty comfortable, even with glasses. You can wiggle the microphone as you uninstall Battlefield. And they're also brightly tuned to reveal all the details in your game. They are bright in life and in game. There are, of course, some questionable pairs that you should be aware of as part of my WTF category. So this is the MG20 gaming headset from Master and Dynamic. And it's my first luxury gaming headset with a beautiful price tag of $450. That's like four plus ka man. But to be fair, it's built very well with premium like finishes, unlike traditional gaming headsets. Um, it's wireless in both Bluetooth and low latency with a dongle. I find them extremely comfortable despite the relatively small ear cup size and they sound like they know what they're doing as well. Playing the new Avengers when the music drops is just wow, incredibly fun. They are feature packed with dual microphones, uh, a surround sound mode that I don't particularly appreciate and a full app to tweak your EQ and check on battery level. But again, they are 450 bucks. That's entering the territory of like planar magnetic drivers. Which brings me to this, the Odyssey Pendros. Man, this headset is probably the best sound experience you can get in the wireless gaming space with their incredible planar magnetic drivers that have beautiful full layering, low deep bass and clarity on the high end that makes you want to buy all the cars in Forza 5, man. My gosh, that sound design. But this has to be one of the most uncomfortable headsets on the spaceship Earth. Okay, the clamping force is just unbearable. It's way too tight. The ear pads are beautiful and soft, but they're not deep enough. And the chunky cable, if you use them in wired mode, just makes way too much noise. And for this price point, man, it really makes you appreciate headsets that take both comfort and sound quality into account equally. So, my best sound category has a few pairs. First is the new Epos H6 Pro closed and open designs. I am so glad they're experimenting with different colors for some style, but also redesigned this entire frame and ear cushions to be lightweight and comfortable with great clamping force and equal weight distribution between the headband and the ear pads. Both the cable and microphone are removable. You know, if you like to keep the side vision clean and uh, if you're after a headset that can game, can music, can entertain, the H6 Pro will deliver powerful sound with an extra fun factor on the closed pair because of that extra bass definition. I mean, it really transports you into whatever game you play and makes you feel the environment and all the scary distant encounters like in Hell Dead. Runner-up is the Drop PC 38X. I'm sorry if you're tired of hearing about this headset from everyone, but it's the perfect package with flawless comfort, that low profile fit, as you can see, you know, Princess Leia designed here. The yellow is no longer such a deal breaker as they launched a full blackout version, but they sound balanced, open, smooth, and really nice for long-term use. And this is actually my most used headset of all time. Also, how great it is to have the best sound on the headsets with the best microphones. So the Epos H6 Pro has good sensitivity on the microphone with good background compression built in by default, plus the physical mute switch on the way up. But also, if you want to just add a microphone to a headphone, the ModMic Wireless is phenomenal in both vocal clarity, as you can hear, and that's some of that background noise compression, but it's also super convenient and requires no cables to operate. Just plug it in, turn it on, and you're good to go. I just really hope they update the USB port on the side to type C and lower the price a little bit so this can exist in more gaming setups. A little dangerous, it's like a little choking hazard. I'm Dimitri, I hope you enjoyed this one. Welcome to browse some of this other content from us and I'll talk to you 